Hey everyone, this is Ekebalia and today we are going to talk about a Mac cleaner software for free. So after doing a lot of research, uh, you know, I wanted to clean up my Mac. So I did a lot of research on all these softwares that I thought that could help me clean up my Mac, free up a little empty space and uh, make my Mac faster. Uh, but most of the softwares there are paid softwares. Um, and uh, you know, if you're willing to shell out money and pay for them, sure, they're good options too. Uh, but if you want like a Mac cleaner for free, the best Mac cleaner software is right in your MacBook. Yes, you heard that correctly. It is right in your MacBook um, and you can use that um, instead of, you know, trying to use the free versions that will cap out at some features or, uh, you know, at the amount of space you can free with those softwares and there'll be some disadvantage to using the free version or it or it'll be for a limited time uh, so uh, just before you we start cleaning up our mac i just want uh, you everyone to see how much space is available in their macbooks uh, so for that if you will just follow along the mouse pointer on the screen uh, go on to the uh, apple menu and click on about this mac um, and then as soon as you do that a window pops up in that window go to storage and in storage you'll basically see that this Mac has around 120 GB of storage and then 40 GB is available that means 60 GB uh, that means 80 GB is used up somewhere now if you give it some time uh, it'll also tell you like it is telling us now how much space is available and used up here so you can see that 40 GB is available. And then if you hover on, on that, you can see that 20 GB is, is there in trash. So there's a huge opportunity here. And then 19.26 GB is covered by apps, around six GB is covered by documents. And then um, around 23 GB is the Mac operating system itself. So to pl start cleaning up, uh, as we can see, we'll note the space available initially it's 40 gb uh, if you click on manage space and in manage space what happens is this is a new uh, recommendation and tool by mac that has come in the new operating systems uh, what you'll be able to see is recommendations uh, so recommendations are different types uh, which will help you clean up you know the clutter in your mac uh, so it basically calculates, uh, you know, the amount of data in your applications, document and trash. If you have any data in your iMovie or iTunes or in backup, it will also show them here. Um, and on the right hand side, you can see uh, like, you know, what all things you can do uh, to clean up your Mac. Uh, so uh, basically, uh, if you click on this, if, if you have iCloud, I, uh, I suggest that you enable it because this will then store all the uh, original files and messages on iCloud and only keep the optimized photos and recent files on Mac. So this is a great way to sort of like save space and free up storage on your Mac. Uh, the optimized storage, if you're using Apple TV as well, uh, so what it'll do is, you know, uh, it will remove the TV and movie, uh, TV, uh, TV shows and movies that I've already seen and uh, that is one of the main reasons of the Mac having no space. Movies take up a lot of lot of space as their video files so click on optimize and it optimize and now this is completed. MP thrash automatically I would also suggest keeping this on uh, so what it will do is save, stay, save space by automatically erasing items that have been in a trash for more than 30 days. Uh, so I turn this on to and I turn this on and it, it's now completed. Now we are halfway optimized uh, and then finally it has an option of reduce clutter. So here we can manually go through the documents and other content and delete whatever we think is not applicable to us. So go on to review files and in the review files, you can see that on the left hand side, the document is opened and then you can see so many files that that are there. Uh, what I suggest is, uh, you know, sorting this out by size. 
and as you do that you can see the largest files uh, which are here and the files that I feel uh, that I don't need now uh, so for example I, I can see that all these movies uh, are you know uh, occupying a lot of space so I click on this and I click on delete and it's deleted one thing that you have to make sure, uh, sure before deleting is these are the files that will be permanently deleted this will not go to the uh, this will not go to the trash so just make sure you're deleting the file that you want to so now I deleted this uh, and it has gone uh, similarly you can also do it with DMG files uh, the DMG files are the files that are used to install a software uh, on your Mac and if you have installed the software then it's basically uh, no reason for you to keep them so I'll delete them also right and then going out to the downloads uh, again you can see that uh, you can see that you can uh, uh, so organize this by size uh, and then you there's one more segmentation here called recent and older than three months and I can see that like they're not very big files so I'll just like leave them as they are for the moment and then similarly you go on unsupported apps there's nothing in it containers there's nothing in it and then file browser this this is basically a layout of how much stuff is in your different file folders and then you can delete them as as and when you like so you can see uh, if I selected movies all the movies will come on the desktop all the files are selected here so this is how you clean up your documents then you go to applications and applications you can see all the applications and the space that they're occupying uh, and for example you can also uh, this is already sort sorted by size and if you see you, that iMovie is one application that takes a lot of my memory um, and because I use it to edit YouTube videos I need it but uh, for example I don't need Microsoft OneNote I don't use it a lot so I just delete this and you know you enter your password and then as you can see it is not here it's deleted now and then I managed to free a little bit more of space so you can likewise go to the application and click the application that you don't want and then trash you can see there's so much trash in there there's 20.89 GB um, this 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 trash has such a large size because I didn't turn on the automatically delete within 30 days option so I recommend that you turn it on um, these are mostly files I don't need anymore so I'll just click on empty trash and this will permanently erase all the items in the trash so I just clicked on this and now as you can see it has cleared all of that and this is how you can see from the left hand side also the trash recommendation has gone um, and this is how you basically clean your Mac and uh, create more space in it uh, and as you can see now for this uh, for this hard disk uh, first it was 40 GB available data and now the data available is 55.83 so I've almost increased the space by 50% in this Mac and now my Mac will be super super uh, fast so this is the best uh, Mac cleaner software for free it is in your Mac please use it if you're not willing to shell out any money if you're willing to shell out any money there are some good options out there but as far as for a free cleaner this is the best option if you like the video please hit and subscribe signing off